नमस्कार सत श्रीकाल आदाब हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू डे 20 ऑफ पावर बीआई और पावर क्वेरी एडिटर लर्निंग सीरीज बाय डिफके लर्नर टुडे वी आर नॉट जस्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग डेटा वी आर फ्लिपिंग इट इनसाइड आउट हैव यू एवर वंडर्ड और हैव यू एवर ओपनड अ डेटा सेट इन थॉट व्हाई आर देयर सो मेनी कॉलम्स और आई विश दीस मंथ्स were rows instead of headings that's where pivot and unpivot come in there are not just features they are game changers they help you convert rows to columns or columns to rows based on what your story demands what you're going to learn today is how to take month names like jan feb march and make them column with total sales using pivot and you will also learn how to flip those columns back into rows with unpivot so your data behaves like a real table this technique saves hours simplifies your tax and makes your dashboard cleaner but before we move to the demo i want to say this sometimes what's standing between a confusing data set and a powerful insight is one tiny transformation just one click away and maybe just maybe today's click help you save time make smarter decision or even impress your boss if this video helps you imagine how many others it could help so please like share and subscribe if it saves someone's 15 or 30 minutes of wrestling with excel and they spend that time with family or resting or even just taking a breath then we are already one so now i'll going to take you into the demo and make the magic happen so let me open up a power query editor or power bi desktop and then i'll be opening up the power query editor so this is where you have a power bi desktop opened you click on file um yeah you can click on file and you can save it because i think we have not been saving it for some time i'll take it to the position where i want to save it i'll put it in demos right so it is in demos and i'll name it as video day 20 report and i'll save it and you will see that the name of the file changes here now let's move to the next step we require the data so i'll click on the get data and what i require is an excel book book data so i'm i've this i have this file which says pivot unpivot demo data i'll click on click on it and click on open so this will load two files for me i'll show you the content of each one of them i require two of those sheets so in the first one what you see is we have region we have month and sales in which we have sales for each month and then we have the other one where we have region and the months have been given in the column instead of the rows so i will just say load the data once i have loaded the data what i need to do now is i'll be transforming that data as well i could have clicked on transform data and i would have gone directly into the power query editor but i'll do it now i'll do a right click and click on edit query and i'll be in the power query editor so we have already there with the change type now in this particular column or in this particular data set that we are working on which is called the long pivot demo 
we have the region we have the month and the sales so what are we going to do is we are going to do the first step and that is where we'll be talking about doing the pivot column so how do you want to do that so once you have the region months and sales select the column called month and then you go to transform and in the transform you will find the thing called pivot columns so just click on pivot column and it will ask you it will give you the region and if you go to the advanced i will select the sum the only thing that i've done is i didn't wanted it for the region i wanted it for the sales so month according to the sale and in the aggregation i'm putting sum and i'll just click on okay so now you see that everything has been changed from rows into columns so we have region we have jan january sales february sales and march sale so that is what we have for each month now we'll move to the unpivot column so i'll go to the next file which is this file and in this file we have region and we have january february and march being given in each month just like what we had in this file but this time what i require is i want to unpivot it i want to get it get the months in the rows so what i'm going to do is once this has been loaded i will click on jan press the control key press february and march after selecting all three of them i'll go here for the unpivot and i will do a unpivot column so the moment you do that you will see that you have region you have an attribute column in which all the months are there january february march and the values so for me the attribute which you are seeing here is nothing but as month so i will change it as month and this one that you see as the value is the sales but at the moment this particular table is giving us the data which is giving multiple data for east and january and the sales that might be one thing which is confusing right so in order to do this what i am planning to do is i'm planning to sum them up so we talked about one thing called group right so we are going to do the same thing so what are we going to do is we are going to the home tab We'll go to the home tab and there we'll select the group by so what we want to group by we want to group by the region and i'll click on advanced so that i can select the other group by and the month and what i require is the total sales and that total sales should be sum of the sales so the moment i click on okay you will see that now i have for east i have january and the value for east february value for east march value so these are the different values that we have for each month i'll just click on apply and these things will get carried forward and i'll just click on close and apply as well so that i open close the query editor and I come back to the canvas page or I come back to the place where I can draw the visuals so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what all uh, I'm going to show you that I will be creating two different visuals and those two visuals would be nothing but the clustered column charts so I'll just click on one of them so i have this here so in this chart what i require is i require x-axis to be the region from the long pivot so i'll just select i'll just drag region and put in the x-axis you will see that it is giving me the regions there 
and then what I require is I require the value of January in the y-axis, February in the y-axis, and March in the y-axis. So you will see a table like this where you see the values for each of those month according to the region. So I can change it, right? So uh, I can change the name that is appearing like some of Jan, some of Feb, some of uh, March by region. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'll say Jan sales. I'll just copy this. And then what I can do is I can name it as Feb sales. And what I can do is I can put March sales there. So you see now it is giving me Jan sale, Feb sale, and March sales. The next thing that I want to do is I don't like this part as well. That is the Y axis title. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to properties, I'll go to Y axis, go to title, and it is saying auto. I don't want the auto title. What I want is I'll say monthly sales i think i've just added an extra l so i'll just remove it so this is showing me the monthly sale the other thing is on the top right the jan sale by region i just don't like it as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to y axis go to title and then in the auto uh, title text i'll write down monthly oh sales by region and then just click out of it and you see monthly sales by region this is changing the y-axis title and if i want to change the main title i'll go to general or go to title and I want to change this, I'll just do a control A and write down monthly sales by region. Right now, um, in an error, what I did was I changed the value of the y x axis as well. So I can go back to the visual, go to x axis, go to the title of it, and remove it and leave it by default. So, oh, okay, y axis title. Okay, let's just put in region, I think. Right, suppose you don't like the color, you want to put the colors in a different, different colors for these bars, right? So you can select them accordingly. You can go into the column, you can go and select the series, and you can change the color. So if I want to put a um, orange color there you will be able to see that orange color you want to see the this color you would be able to change it so accordingly where as been required by your manager you can change the colors there now this is one of them i just wanted to add one more effect to it and that is the shadow and the visual border which i'm usually i usually like to put that now i want another one for the similar clustered chart for the other thing that I wanted to apply. So I could have copied it, but I just uh, created a new one. And in this one, what I require is I will be using the wide unpivot demo. So in this, what I require is in the X axis, I require my months. Y axis would be my sorry my re region would be legend and the total sales would be y axis so now you can see that we have two different charts right two different clustered column charts and it is showing you of the same value in or might be the values in a different format right in one what you're checking is you're getting the total sales on the basis of the region and then month 
right? In the second one, what you do is you see the total sales bifurcated by months and then different regions. So here also I want to change the name here, which is total. So I can just change it from here. What I'll change here will automatically change the y-axis part there. This is month. I want to change the title. So I'll go back to the format of the visual, go to general and then click on title. So in this I see the total sales by month and region. What I'm going to name it as the regional monthly sales. Right. So for each month, you're seeing each region's sale there. So again, if you want to change the color, if you don't like the uh, you have specific format or the requirement or the branding that is required by your organization You can come here. You can go to column. You can select the column that you want to change You don't want this color. You want a different color. You can make the change Yeah, two colors with the same will not look good So let's just keep it with a different color. So these are the ways that you can change the colors of your choice as well so this was uh, the part that i had covered today with you pivot and unpivot column right and that's how we could easily convert it into it else we would have used a lot of DAX queries and DAX things there but these wizards help help us to make these things simpler and the bang you would be able to do the work right so um, thank you for listening till here but I just want to say one thing and tomorrow the day 21 is all about replacing values and handling errors you will learn how to clean wrong entries, how to fix errors that break your refresh, and how to follow best practices to stay future proof. So don't miss it. And if you have a doubt or got a doubt, drop it. I'll share this particular uh, URL to you, right? So what you can do is you can ask it, learn it with DivK Learner, and let's grow together. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share because helping others, saving their time is what we are looking forward for. Thank you.